What's up guys? This is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video. And this time we're going to be talking about some more Transformers news. This is Transformers Media News number 71. And this time we're going to be talking about a brand new series which I have not discussed in my previous Transformers Media News. This series is known as Transformers Combiner Wars and it's going to be developed by Machinima. For those who do not know Machinima, it's quite known for making many series off many franchises. And this time they're going to be making a franchise with Hasbro and Transformers, and that makes me really happy because, well, it's a fresh new series. We already got a series, which was Robots in Disguise, and this time we're going to be having a brand new series, which is going to be more of a mature series for the older Transformers fans, and this is Transformers Combiner Wars. Now, I never made videos, like I said, about this, but this is my first time, and the first reveal of the Transformers Combiner Wars series was on April 5th, and as you guys know, that was kind of in my little my little phase, but now since I'm back and all, we're going to be talking about this Transformers Combined Wars series, and we have two articles to discuss it with. So, first things first, we're going to be talking about the overview, the details, the revealing, which is this whole entire article here. Then we're going to be talking about a sneak peek, which is located right here, which was revealed yesterday. So, as you guys know, I'm pretty darn excited because, of course, with more Transformers, we get to talk about more things, and with a whole bunch of more Transformers, you know, that just makes us happy Transformers fans. So I'm glad to know I'm glad to know that there's gonna be a brand new series developed by Machinima. Machinima has a great track record and I'm looking forward to see what they have to do with Transformers Combiner Wars. So let's read this article together. Let's see what's going on. Let's read this reveal together. So let's go. <clears throat> More details from Machinima's Transformers Combiner Wars series revealed. Alright, so let's read this article together. Hasbro is currently attending the MIP TV conference 2016 in France along with Machinima to promote their upcoming shows. Last year we heard about the possible series line of the Transformers Robots in Disguise series during the same conference and this year the spotlight is on Transformers Combiner Wars. Thanks to Flickering Myth, we have a transcript of the Digital Front section held yesterday. The series will consist of 8 episodes and will debut in July. Series Summary Possible Spoilers so For those who do not know I mean, for those who do not want to know any spoilers regarding this show, I'll give you guys five seconds to leave this video or, I don't know, do something else. <laughs> but I'm going to count down from five right now. So let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, guys, last chance. I'm going to be reading it. Taking place 40 years after the Great War on Earth, Transformers Combined Wars introduces new lore and all new characters that, combined with the characters fans have known for decades, will bring the Transformers storytelling in a new direction. The Autobots and Decepticons have disbanded and returned to Cybertron. With the days of Optimus Prime and Megatron over, Cybertron is now ruled by a Triumvirate. However, an ancient technology has enabled a new threat, the power for multiple Transformers to combine into one massive, dangerous form, Combiners. Who will stand up to this threat to ensure that the fragile peace that was 4 million, years, 4 million years in the making remains? During the conference, it was also stated that the series is geared towards the adults. So that is perfect. So let's let's highlight this right here. Highlight this. Okay. I'm going to get off topic for a second. Now, you guys know the difference between a Transformers show that's meant for kids and a Transformers show that's meant towards, well, people around my age, the Transformers the older Transformers audience. As you guys know, Transformers Prime is a prime example. You guys saw what I did there? Prime example, of course. Transformers Prime is a great example. That show was a mature Transformers show. Of course, it was a cartoon, but, but despite it being a cartoon, it was actually a mature Transformers show. You had, you had characters dying off. You had executions. Remember Breakdown? You guys remember Breakdown for Transformers Prime? He was executed by Arachnid. Like, seriously. You guys remember that, right? Bumblebee pretty much died in the series finale. That that show was actually pretty dark. You guys remember Cliffjumper? He died in the first episode. You guys remember all that, right? That was the definition of a mature Transformers show. And till this date, it's still my favorite Transformers show of all time. That was just freaking amazing. Then, when the show ended, of course, many of the Transformers fans were disappointed, but, you know, everything has to come to an end eventually, right? Then along came Robots in Disguise. Now, when we heard about Robots in Disguise, people were a bit skeptical about it because, well, they wanted to know would it live up to Transformers Prime. 
And well, although Robots in Disguise is good, it failed to live up to Transformers Prime. Robots in Disguise, as Hasbro even stated it, stated it themselves, it was geared towards the younger audience of the Transformers fans. And that's something most Transformers fans, well, at least the older audience, didn't like. They didn't like the fact that they went from a mature audience to a children-friendly audience. And, of course, that made a lot of people upset. I still gave the show a shot. I still enjoyed it. But, you know, overall, Transformers Prime and the mature feeling it offered to the Transformers fans, well, it's overall better than Robots in Disguise. And the fact that Transformers Combined Wars is going to be gearing towards the older audience, the older Transformers fans, that is perfect. That is phenomenal. I can't wait to see what the show has to offer. I can't wait. Transformers, if you guys think about it, it's a dark story. It's about a war. And sometimes when it's when it's made for a, a, a younger audience, it can be disappointing. But at the same time, we have to remember this is a cartoon show. However, some writers do recognize that this is a war. And sometimes a war has to be, well, an actual war. And with that being said, it has to be geared towards an older audience. And I'm glad that Hasbro and Machinima is going to be doing that with Transformers Combined Wars. This makes me even more excited for this series. So let's continue with this last piece of information. Transformers Combined Wars is brought to us by famous writers, showrunners, Eric Caldron, George Christick, and F.J. DeSanto. De De so, yeah, guys, that's all I really have to think about that. It's pretty darn awesome that this is going to be geared towards the adults. Now let's go to the sneak peek of Transformers Combined Wars. Machinima's Transformers Combined Wars series sneak peek. Let's read it together. A couple of weeks ago, Hasbro and Machinima unveiled their first poster and plot details of the upcoming Transformers Combined Wars series during the 2016 MIP TV conference. During the digital front speech of the same conference, Machinima CEO Chad Gutstein had given a sneak peek of the show. Unfortunately, it's not a video. Also revealed is the name of the series director. Kenji Nakamura, the Japanese director who directed the critically acclaimed anime series Monoke, is behind the project along with brilliant minds of Eric Caldron, F.J. DeSanto, and George Christick. Mr. Gustine told the crowd, Last week, but not least, is Passion Platform Transformers, which you undoubtedly recognize if you were ever a child. There's, there's 10 billion views of Transformers content of, on YouTube, not to mention four theatrical films, which saw 3.7 billion in global revenues. Machinima's contribution to the canon, Transformers Combined Wars, is 40 years removed from previous event. It's a time of peace. Cybertron is ruled by Triumvirate, but an ancient technology has emerged enabling a new threat to take the stage. As in the case of Robocops, there is no trailer we can share for this, but it was worked on by some of the world's leading creative minds. Eric Caldron, F.J. DeSanto, and George Christick. It is directed by Kenji Nakamura. Licensed partners are welcome. Here's some glorious artwork. This is the Planet Cybertron, in which you get a sense of the film-like cinematography. This is not a children's cartoon, explained Gutstein. Oh my gosh, this is making me even more excited. He's putting an exclamation point. This is not a children's cartoon. Are we actually going to be having a dark Transformers show? If so, sign me up. Let's continue. Next, meet the heroine. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that word correctly. You guys know I can't read. But Windblade, who has the power to talk to the Titans. Check out the images after the jump. The series will debut this is July. Stick with TFW, TF, TFW for more info. So let's check out the images right here. That's one image. And I'm guessing that's Windblade talking to one of the combiners. And that combiner looks freakishly huge. Look at the look at the screenshots though. Hold on. Look at the screenshots. You guys see Cybertron in the background? Look at that. Look at that. Like I said, I'm really happy for this show. I'm really happy that Machinima is pushing this series forward. And, you know, that's all I really have to say regarding both of these articles. The fact that it's going to be a mature Transformer show, that we have little sneak peeks, and we know Windblade's going to be part of it. I'm pretty darn excited for it. It's looking pretty promising, and I can't wait to see what else they're going to be doing with it. It's been a long time since we actually had some fresh new Transformer shows besides Robots in Disguise. And the fact that this one's geared towards the older audience of the Transformer series... Like I said, it makes me even more happy, and I can't wait to see what else they're going to have to show in the near future. The series debut in July, that's about two and a half months away. You guys already know it's April 21st, so time flies by really fast. We're going to be seeing this series sooner than expected. So 
I'm pretty darn excited, guys. I'm really happy. I'm really looking forward to Transformers Combined Awards, and I can't wait to see what Machinima is capable of in terms of delivering great storytelling of the Transformers franchise. That being said, though, guys, that's all I really have to say regarding these two articles. If you guys would like to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoy my content and will enjoy any other future things. I upload Transformers news and I'm currently following all Transformers movie, gaming, and shows. So if you guys want to hear all the information regarding the, the movies of Transformers, the shows of Transformers, and the games of Transformers, hit that subscribe button because I will be here giving you guys all the Transformers news you would love to hear. So thank you guys once again. Nonetheless, this is Silent Jordan here. Peace, late, and of course, have a lovely day. I'll see you guys in the next Transformers video. I'm Austin. Have an awesome day.